Hey guys, and welcome back. This is going to be the tutorial. It's going to be the redo of the tutorial of how to make this mask. Um, I did have this on my channel before, but I want to upgrade the quality and everything else. I also will have another tutorial to show you how to do these LED eyes. But this tutorial is just for how to sculpt and paint the mask. It turns out really neat, has a nice effect. Um, straps on it. I will also talk a little bit about how to get the costume, where you can get that for cheap. This mask, not including the LED system, costs maybe 15 bucks or less. You only need to source some simple parts like a computer fan, some clay, stuff like that. Nothing that you can't find within, you know, an afternoon. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so the parts that you'll need, you're going to need a paper mask that fits your face, some acrylic paints in the colors shown, a rotary tool, some scissors, a paintbrush, hot glue, a 40 millimeter computer fan, and cheap sunglass lenses. The computer fan you can get on Amazon, the sunglass lenses you can get at the dollar store, everything else you can get at a craft store or at Walmart. So the first thing I did was cut the mask to shape. You'll see that I cut into the nose, I cut the whole mouthpiece out cut around the edges, all that. From there, I use the Model Magic Clay to sculpt it up. A tip for sculpting, the two parts of a mask that really give it the character is the cheekbones and the eyebrow bones. So you'll see here I really made those definitive. By making them up and pointed towards the center of your face, it kind of gives it more of a mean look. If you do it the opposite, it'll give it kind of a sad look. I started sculpting the clay up and around the mouth, uh, creating kind of a a big mouth mound thing if you will where that fan will end up going. Make sure to shape the hole to the right size of the fan, 40 millimeters in our case. I took a little bit of meshing and some metal grate. You just need the mesh, not the grate if, if you don't have any of the grate. Um, and now I'm going to put this inside where the mouth hole goes at the bottom with hot glue. That way you can't see in through it even when the fan's in there but I can still breathe out through that hole just fine. That's the plan for there. You'll notice that we also cut the eye holes a little bit bigger towards the right shape of what we wanted for this mask because usually they're kind of small for the when you buy the paper mask at the store. Hot glued it in, that's what it looked like. From here I'm smoothing out the inside of that hole with some clay, really making sure that hole for the fan is the right size, making sure it's circular, making sure it's smooth. You'll notice that the um, mask is starting, it has this like texture to it from me pressing my thumb in, thumbs in to shape it. That's just what happens with Model Magic. If you want, you can get your finger a little bit wet with some water and rub it across the mask while the clay is still wet, and that'll smooth it out a little bit, get rid of some of those fingerprints, but the paint will cover up a lot of these indentations. Here's our fan, and I use some bungee cord. You can use um, the clay instead of the bungee cord if you don't have one. And what I'm going to do is use that bungee cord to seal that hole in just perfectly. I made the hole maybe like 60 millimeters instead of 40. Then I'm using this piece of cord around there. You could just as easily use clay for this section, but you will want it to be a different color than the mask. From here we're going to go ahead and paint those. Um, I painted the bungee cord chrome-ish silver, you know, and the fan I painted a dark gray and then I did dry brushing. If you don't know what dry brushing is, it's where you barely have any paint on the brush and then you just rub it over the object and that allows it to get the highlighted areas as you see there where it looks worn across some of the edges. Now I taped off some of the more important sections and just went to town painting it. The color paint I'm using for this mask, you might not be able to tell that I painted it, um, is bone. I use bone colored. You don't want to use bright white because the Psycho mask is not bright white, it's bone color. You want it to look dirty and old. Here's the part where it gets a, a little bit more difficult. You're going to want to take your sunglass lenses, you'll notice I traced around the eye hole, the shape of the eye I want, onto masking tape. Then I put that onto the sunglass lens. And now with a rotary tool, I'm cutting around just to get the exact shape that I want. I did that with both eyes. I used the mirror image for the other eye. That way they would be symmetrical and even. Be very careful when you're using these. Use eye protection, all that. You Have an adult do it if you really need to. Now we're going to paint the detail on. Um, what I did is I actually used a pencil. You can kind of see it on the eyebrows right there. I used a pencil to sharpie or to mark everywhere that I want it painted. You can erase even a little bit and you'll be just fine. And then I painted on dark brown acrylic paint across this little traditional Borderlands style um, kind of insignia across the face. Just dark brown, 
simple as that. From there, you're going to take the bone color that you use for the mask and do a thin line all the way down that brown that you just did, and then do Sharpie next to that. That gives you a little bit more contrast, a little bit more pop, and gives it that kind of cartoony look that you expect out of the Borderlands mask. Here you can see that I took the same clay that we've been using and molded around, I kind of you know did the old snake method that you learned in elementary school and rounded that out around the lenses to kind of give it a goggle look instead of just a lens floating out in the middle of nowhere. Here you can see where I penciled it on again and that I'm sharpening around the brown. And this really isn't too difficult. Then once you have the goggles actually formed around that, you're going to want to paint them black with a black acrylic paint and then hot glue them in. I think it looks really good. Turns out like this. Also, you'll notice that we have hot glued in the fan and the bungee cord, so now those are permanently in there. The fan actually will still turn the way that I did it. Um, the final step is to pencil on all of those black lines and then use a dark black Sharpie and Sharpie around them. This really gives it the cell shaded look that Borderlands has and it finishes off the mask. You'll need to get some cotton strap or a headband or something, some elastic, and hot glue that to the insides of each side of the mask, and that'll allow you to strap it onto your face. I did a strap across the top and the sides with just cotton strap because that's what it kind of looks like in the game, but you could do it however you want. This just shows a little bit of the costume. I got an old knee pad that I had laying around. You can get them at the thrift store if you don't have one, and I painted it black, um, actually gunmetal. And I went to the thrift store, got some shorts, got some medical tape from Walmart for my leg, got an old leather jacket from the thrift store, put it all together. I know that this is more of the um, bandit look, not the psycho look. The psycho usually has the orange pants and no shirt. But since it's Halloween usually occurs at a cold time in Colorado, I wanted to have some clothes on. So I think it turned out really nicely. I hope you guys enjoy that. If you have any questions, let me know. I also have old tutorials on this that I'll link in the description. They aren't as good of quality, but they do cover a few different things. I go a little bit more in depth into the sculpting in that one. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I'll see you later. On the left is going to be how to make the LED eyes that you saw in this video. And on the right is the tutorial for how to make the Bioshock Splicer Mask. They might not be online when you're first watching this video, but they will be up in a week or so, so feel free to check those out. And check out the links in the description for the old versions of this tutorial if you're curious to see more. And make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you have any questions. I'd love to see what you guys do with this. Have a great day.